Hi guys, Lady G here again. Uh, right now I'd like to do one of my favorite um, but, um, vinegar mix for you guys. And that's apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar, you know, they do a lot of study on it. So a lot of the benefits uh, is really, you know, facts. Um, it has a lot of benefits to it. So I'm just going to be like, I make my own apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to be, I'm going to show you how I do it step by step and um, the process that it has to go through to from fermentation to the final product. Okay. So apple cider vinegar, you know, I, it's a natural remedy and it's for everything from better health to weight loss. You know, it, um, it, it, it can, um, it controls your blood sugar, you know, it's, it improves your insulin sensitivity. It reduces belly fat and it lowers your cholesterol. So it's, it does a lot and these are proven facts. So I just want to give you a little insight there before I start making it. And basically, the the ice quality one apple cider vinegar is the one that has the mother in it, and that brand brand is Bragg, and the mother is this slimy thing at the bottom, you know. So basically, that's it, you know. So it's a high quality um apple cider vinegar, and the mother is a substance the substance that form and can you know that form during fermentation fermentation basically, you know. So this is it. So um, I'm going to be doing, showing you step by step how you prepare it and um, from the beginning from to the end, right? And you know what? You have to have a lot of patience because it's a very slow process. You know, it takes a lot of, um, it's not a lot of work, but you go through certain steps, okay? The first step, uh, what I'm going to be doing right now, it's going to be for a 30 day period. Then you have another 30 day again, which to, you know, finalize it. Okay. So it's a step-by-step -step stuff and you have to have patience. So basically, um, let me show you how, you know, um, it's made. So I use, um, I use, try to use, try to find, um, organic apples. And the longer you have them, like in the fridge or so is the better because the sugar breaks down better. And I wash them and basically I cube them up like this, cut them up in small pieces. Okay, so you just basically take the apple seeds out. Yeah, and um because mines are um are organic, I leave um the skin on it because basically the skin is where most of all, all that um fermentation um will take place. Um you know, all of that stuff is in the skin of the apple, the, you know. So, and basically, it's, if it's organic, you just keep the skin on, all right? No problem there. I will be right back. And apple cider, apple cider vinegar, you know, is an acidic, it's an acidic acid, and that's what make it works, you know, that's the acid, sort of like the one you have in your stomach, like for, um, hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid in your stomach, but it's a good acid, you know, this is the good one, yeah, and it helps with a lot of stuff, it helps with weight loss, it helps. It's very good at proven in diabetes. It lowers your sugar, and also with high blood pressure, it lowers it lowers your blood pressure. I think it's thirty milligram you take, um, with some water, dilute it in some water, and you drink that before you go to bed at night, and in the morning first thing you drink uh, another glass on an empty stomach. You know, drink it on an empty stomach and wait for about. 30 minutes to heat anything to so let the acid in it work start to work any on your stomach you know and it's a good um weight loss helper you know it um cuts your appetite so that's the reason they said to take it on an empty stomach uh in the morning and wait before you go to bed too and also help you to sleep better because i take a 
drink it at night and go to bed it's it helps you to sleep better especially if you're a person that find it very hard to fall asleep you know so apple cider it has a lot of benefit there you know So basically, this is it here right now. So I have my bottle here. And it's a clean bottle. You sterilize your bottle. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be packing the apples in the jar. So you, you know what? you, um, I basically don't measure away anything because if you have a certain amount of apples you just and you want to do it, you just cut them up and put them in a bottle. And if you have... You know quite a bit then you get you would get you know you would use a larger jar yeah so basically that's it so this is nothing to like measure it's only like for taking it um and i don't even measure i just um put some in a glass and i barely dilute it because it tastes well you know it's an acquired taste but it tastes very good it tastes very good maybe because i'm drinking it for a long time but i barely i hardly ever dilute it i just drink it like that you know so so this is it. So um, it's a acquired taste of time. So the fermentation process is that what results in the um, acid, the acidic acid, right? And that is the active component that give the apple cider its unique taste and smell. You know that that's you know smell that it have there you know the top you know vinegar smell so okay what i basically use i use um filter water um or if you i don't have filter you use a bottle of water so okay what it requires right now is a quarter cup of white sugar white sugar so just let me get my measuring just a, a, a quarter cup of white sugar. A half, a half a cup, half a cup of white sugar. And I mean, I wouldn't use vinegar, um, honey, or brown sugar. Use um just white sugar okay just white sugar no honey because honey you wouldn't you know honey you always it would be okay else here but you would not get the same result with the honey okay so basically you have your half a spoon of sugar right there now let's get this out of the way and you're gonna add you need your wooden spoon right now you're gonna have the water and the waters have to be above the apples all the way above the apple okay and you're gonna mix it give it a little mix to dilute the sugar so just give it a good mix dilute the sugar okay basically that's it okay and you're not going to be using this to cover it right because in order for it to work you need a breathable um cover on it so either a piece of cotton cloth or a coffee filter on it and then you put a rubber band on it i'll just show you let me just grab my coffee filter Okay, and coffee filters are pretty inexpensive. You know, you can get them um, yeah, in the dollar store. You know, this is what a hundred in this pack for two dollars. And the same with your um, with your cheesecloth. The cheesecloth you get in the dollar store also. You know, so this is it. Um, because in order for fermentation to take place, it needs hair to get in. And once from once it's the bubble start, the bubble started. After I, you know, it's done with it and leave it, it's going to have a lot of bubble in it. And that bubble is going to continue for 
30 days close and once the bubble stop then you know fermentation is done okay so you just go like that i use um two you know they're thin and the same procedure for your arm um, if you use the cheesecloth and what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be putting a rubber band around it to keep it in place okay okay so that's it and you just have to mark the date because it's as a sit for 30 days and every day you get up you got to lift off the cover and and mix it but use a wooden spoon or you an wooden spot a wooden stick it has to be mixed every day and if you open it one day you see like um it's frothed like white froth on it that means it need a little bit just give it a little bit more sugar and stir it okay so basically that's it for that and right now i'm going to be showing you what this one see the cheesecloth is on this one so i could use yeah i forgot i could use this one has been sitting for 30 days see there is no bubble so the fermentation process is finished so what i have to do with this one right now is to strain it and put it in a bottle and it's gonna sit again for another 30 days okay so like i said it, it is it's uh there's a bit of a, a a process to get go through so let me just get um my thing so i'm just gonna get my strainer and and strain it so this one is there for a whole month for 30 days so it's ready and if you notice there's no bubble and you see the color yeah so i i'm gonna be straining it right now and then put it in a bottle another um sterilized bottle and it's gonna be sitting for another 30 days so i'm just grabbing my strainer get the biggest one okay and I strain it, everything, just strain it all out, mix it up. Okay. Oh, the smell. Ah, oh, the smell. The smell is awesome. Awesome. 30 days. 30 days. So you just make sure you get out all of the juice. And this you could use again. Yeah, because, you know, I've seen, um, my mom used to do it again yeah but um we'll see so right now i have a sterilized bottle right here and i am going to be filling the bottle i hope it all in that bottle otherwise i have to um use another bottle bottle so i'm just gonna be using one of my um Gonna be use one of my. Oops, let's use one. This is your cream, so. It smells so good. 30 days. It's been sitting for. And it's gonna sit for another 30 days before it's ready to be used. Yes, apple cider is very good for um, high blood pressure. It lowers it lower your blood pressure. But what you have to do also when you take it, um, you have to constantly monitor your blood pressure because sometimes your blood pressure it could drop very low. As, and if you are on blood pressure medication, you talk to you you fit your doctor first because um, you know taking high blood pressure medication and the apple cider this apple cider. Is also gonna lower your blood pressure. So talk to your doctor first, um, you know, and see if it's okay for you to um you know take any any kind of a health um thing you're gonna be doing as long if you are diabetic and and high and you know hypertensive, always talk to your doctor first. So see, so that's it right there now. This one can be closed all the way down, right? 
and it's gonna be sitting for 30 days and after that 30 days it's ready so you see it's a process here this one is just done I think I'm gonna use the cheesecloth yeah I'll use the cheesecloth and because the cheesecloth is my charm yeah I use the cheesecloth so guys this is the one that I just finished this is the one that was sitting for 30 days and ironically this is Bragg this is the name brand and what I do I always keep a bottle of Bragg because um I use apple cider vinegar so often so sometimes I run out so I always make sure I have this one is the store brand but this is the best one Bragg and it's raw and filtered um you know and this is the one that I have with mother you see and that's the slime in the bottom so these are one that were done already and these can be used I did this one you know these ones already and I've been using these ones and if you really look at it the black one to mine it's the same identical thing yeah so these ones these ones you're already that one I just did it's gonna sit but so remember every day you got to lift this off and use your wooden spoon and stir it um you know just stir it around and then you close it back okay so that's basically is it right there so this one I just did that's one finished 30 days and it's gonna be sitting for another 30 days this is the store brand these ones are mine that I did and ready to use I have quite a few bottles because I make it a lot so this is the store brand Bragg that's mine that's the one gonna be sitting for another 30 days and that's the one here I just finished doing apple cider vinegar and basically that's how you make it and as I said before apple cider vinegar is very good for you you know it does a lot it can you know it helps to keep your insulin in control it um it keeps your blood pressure low and basically um, if you want to test uh, the pH level should be at 3.3 so you could go um, order an Amazon pH strip but because I am doing it for so long I know exactly you know when it's um at its you know when it's done but for people if you're a beginner you just buy your pH strip and when you test your pH strip should be 3.3 to 3.5 you know that is that is the maximum there your pH um you, you know the acidity of it should be you know no no lower than that and apple cider vinegar you can keep it outside for up to five years because really it's just the acid in it so it can be kept for a very long time up to five years outside okay you lower your blood sugar with a help with weight loss it's easily broke down protein it helps to release bile from the liver it, it does a lot of good stuff it control pathogens oh my gosh and in digestion it speed it up you know and activate all those enzymes from the food or you know so it, it does a lot it does a lot you know the vinegar you know the intake reduces your body weight yeah and fat and, and your body mask also so are you and it helps you know to um keep your bmi which is your uh, how much you know well you know i know what that part is all about um you know weight loss so like i said um you guys can go and do your research on um you know on google or because um they're doing lots of studies on it right now and this is where they give, getting all of this proof from and you know what it's also good for um uh you know you soak your feet with it it gives your feet nice and, and soft and it take it off the, all, all of these calluses on your foot it does everything you can also use it to wash your hair to shampoo your hair but the most benefit i find with it it helps you in weight weight loss reduction um but you have to really you know not just drink it alone because uh, you know you have to try to cut down you know on a lot of stuff and exercise do do, do some exercise so all of that um compiled together it helps so i would say apple cider vinegar is one of those super food because it's that good it is a good thing okay so guys this is the process here this is the one i just did and you could use any apple but i prefer like to use you know um gala um red delicious you could use even granny you know even granny smith green or you could mix them up and the thing about it if you have the apple in the fridge and say you have it there for a while and they start to even 
shrivel up. That's the best part because all of that sugar and acid, everything breaks down because this, these are the one I'm using right now. So I'll show you in another 30 days what this look like, right? So that's going to be for 30 days. This one just went through 30 days and it's going to go through another 30 days. This is the store brand brag and this is mine here. Okay, all of these ones, these two, I, I, you know, I made these. So I'm using those right now. And this is Bragg. And this is the best brand on the market. It tells you it's organic and it, raw, unfiltered. And it has the mother in it. That's this that slime, you know. So that's what it's all about. So folks, I hope you enjoy that. And you know what? Give it a try because, you know, there's a lot of other cider on the market. And remember, you know, even though... They're acid and, you know, they always had something in them for to preserve them, to give them shelf life. So a lot of them on in the marketplace is not just natural. So you do it yourself and you know it's just your apple, a little bit of sugar in it. And you just leave it for it, nature to take its course, you know. And it doesn't get any organic or normal than you doing it yourself with organic. And if you don't have access to organic um, apple... You buy the regular apple and you put some baking soda, some um, vinegar and leave it in the sink overnight. Leave them soaking. Okay, for a while. I just put them in the sink overnight and let them soak. And if you're still not comfortable, just take the peels off. Just peel it, you know, and, and do it. But, you know, you can also use that, but you just have to clean them up. Okay. So, folks, um, I hope you like this video. And if you do, you can share it with someone and um, push the thumbs up and subscribe okay thanks